Now it's time to remove the oil pan. Um, we're gonna do it with the engine standing still straight up because there's uh, some oil that stays here for a long time. Even though we drop the oil, there's still some left in there. So if we rotate the engine, it's gonna do a nice mess. So in order to prevent that, we're gonna remove all of those are aluminum bolts. There's a lot of those, you can see. There's a one, two, three, there's several. There's about 30 or more. You know, and there's some longer ones here and another longer one here. So we're gonna go around, we're gonna slack them all. Um, and uh, we're gonna try to keep a few of those to finish with, but it's better to slack them uh, all uh, to go uh, maybe uh, um, to go around uh, it's this one at the lower lowest uh, not this one here this is for the split for the crank so we had to remove all of those going all around uh, we try to uh, to slack them a little uh, we don't want to keep some uh, load on just a few of those and in the end remove the whole thing because we don't want to break those so uh, that's what's gonna happen now. To uh, take off the uh, oil pan, engine oil pan, it's better to take out these bolt at first, the one on the transmission side. Um, not to take them out, but you slack them first. No need to go in uh, different, uh, in two stages, but you slack them first. You go by hand to slack them, because this is aluminum, you don't want to break them. So you slack all of, the, all of those longer bolts on the flange, because these are, um, a bit more torqued uh, and they're longer uh, they they were the one uh, the hardest to take out let's let's just put it this way so once it's uh, these are slack you go around slack all the other boats so what I did I took all of the boats out you can see there's a bunch of those here there there's only four left in the corners so mm. now I'm gonna remove these four and take out the oil pan The oil pan is now, uh, all the bolts are, are removed, so now it's a matter of just try to unstick it. You can try to dry it gentle here. Let me check, that doesn't sound like... Yeah, there's nothing left. Okay, so we try to pry it gently. That's it. Oil in there. So now we're gonna pour it in the uh, drip pan and let it uh, all get after that we're gonna rotate the engine upside down okay, so uh, now we remove the head gasket else it's gonna fall this is a bit oily Now it's going to be time to flip the engine upside down. Okay, you know
pin, I'm going to have to lift up the other end of the hinge. I'm going to take out the uh, tube that is uh, taking the oil in for the uh, oil pump. So there's three bolts, two that side, one on the rear, one here on the rear, this one here. So we can take this one at first. We can slide them all at first. This is going to be slided inside with an o-ring, that's obvious. So we take these three out first. We're going to have to you got to check if they are aluminum. All aluminum bolts got to be replaced, as you already know. Good chances they will be. I don't see any reason to have those in steel. Just to add weight and to hold the plastic uh, funnel. And the way you check that is with the magnet. Well, I can show you this one so then you can see no no attraction. So confirm these bolts are aluminum. It's all good, doesn't matter. It's not gonna go any further. So that we just pull gently. So you can see there's an O-ring here. that's been removed okay the uh, other things that has to be removed is this uh, deflector sh uh, sheet metal piece here this uh, serves as a purpose to slow down the oil as it falls down to not make whoops sorry there's a lot of oil in that thing I'm gonna have to uh, go and drip it in the drip pan where you got the vacuum pump once uh, this is upside down there's a oil hole in there so it's a good thing to put a rag because it's going to keep dripping and making a mess. Also when you do uh, do have a mess, put some uh, sawdust or uh, litter box uh, powder to suck up the oil so you don't get uh, with an oily floor that's going to stay messy. So now next step would be, yeah we can remove this uh, sheet metal plate, that's an easy one. And after that we're gonna remove the oil pump. The oil pump is a bit more of a challenge because we got the timing chain and all. So let's do this one first. Oh, oh okay, these uh, two bolts missing, three bolts missing were for the uh, inlet uh, pipe for the oil pump. That's why there's three bolts missing. Nothing's been broken. Again, it's gonna be aluminum. So we remove, we replace. These are all Torx Ed. So you go with a Torx female socket. This one is uh, E10. We cannot mess around when it's time to put it back. The bump is going to be up for the crank to turn underneath it, and there's a cutout to go around the oil pump. So pretty straightforward. No need to mark anything. I'm gonna put that in the drip pan as well because this is gonna drip oil but we can see how it looks underneath once we remove it so now you got the, the uh, sorry the crankshaft um, they are uh, I don't know if you can see here there's little pipes little tubes these you don't mess with those they are for lubricating the engine as it runs so you don't move them around you got to be careful not to move those and don't kink them, it's uh, essential for the engine 
when it runs. On the oil pump, there is a hole here at the bottom, and on the back plate, there's also a hole. I don't know if you can see it. So you gotta line up the two, and you can put a drill in there just to lock them in place. I put a one quarter of an inch. This is to prevent it to turn, and then we're gonna be able to remove that screw. This is what we're doing now. That bolt, sorry. This is a Torx. Let me see if it's a. Yeah, that's a regular Torx. Right, right, right. So let's do this. Okay, this is slack. Once this is free, you leave the sprocket there. You're gonna have to remove two other bolts. This one here and this one here. So this one and this one. And then we're gonna take, move this off the pump. So we're gonna be able to remove the pump from there. I try also not to push on the downside. Not to give extra weight for the engine rack, I'm trying to push sideways. That was a, it's not too much torque on this one. This one was a bit of torque, but the ones on the side is a, I removed the uh, drill bit there, there's no need to keep that there. Still a sharp knife, you know. So here you got, this is the crankshaft, this, this is like a, a little cylinder that is screwed with some uh, grip disc. This is the one I don't want to mess with. This is why I say don't remove that big nut on the outside. So this timing chain is for the oil pump. It connects with the crankshaft uh, stub or whatever you call this. And also the uh, vacuum pump on the side. And then inside of that, toward the, uh, sorry, toward the outside, you got the timing chain. This one goes from the crank to the two uh, cam vanus sprocket and the, there's a tensioner on the side that we removed earlier, the big uh, nut that was about that big. So it's just relate things where they go. Now it's going to be, I'm just going to keep going with removing these uh, two bolts here. Aluminum still, once again. For the lower part, the uh, small uh, timing chain that goes with the oil pump and the uh, vacuum pump, um, the tensioner is not really like a tensioner, it's all set the three of those in one, uh, one spot kind of. So now, it's gonna slide this thing gently out I'm replacing these timing chain by the way, all of them. The sprocket is now free. Um, yeah, that's gonna be good enough to remove the uh, the pump from the back. So now to remove the pump, we got these bolts here, one here, one here. There's one here. And I think that's it. There's yeah, just three of those. Let's remove those right away. Okay, 
These are a bit bigger. That's working. Let's try the smaller one. Make sure it's not this one. Okay, definitely not this one. So we're looking for a knee twelve. stiff okay it's not broken good news so now it's just a matter of removing all of these three This one is longer than I thought. <laughs> no, it is. Yeah, it's much longer. This is why this one here is very long. The one that goes on the uh, side of the... Um, the egg, this is the uh, intake side. So on the side of the intake, it's a very, very long bolt. Maybe you start with this one to avoid breaking it. Let's put this aside. Now we should be good to remove the pump. I think it's located also. Okay, let's do this with a screwdriver so we don't miss anything. Otherwise it goes up and bang. There's probably a guide pin. That's what it is. There's like a guide pin. Yeah, there's two guide pin. One here. I don't know if you can see it. Hold on. I'm gonna put that aside and show you. <coughs> here, from the side. This is um, a guide pin here, and there's another one right here so these are the two you want to gently get over them and if you look from above this is really flat here this uh, sheet metal back plate for the kind of triangle for the uh, sprockets so this is not so hard to remove it's really just to lift the pump slightly above these two guide pins and then it's going to be easier to uh, it's going to be easy to take them apart so the next step to that would be to uh, remove the split and uh, that should uh, help us to free the uh, all the timing chain and everything and the crankshaft. So uh, that's going to be uh, the next task we're going to be on to.